Thank you. Very good. Oh, no, it fell down. It was on the wall. <laughs> You're not allowed to open doors at this though. She has no rules. Okay. I was going to light it, but I thought we could do that at a hotel instead. Yeah. So I'll, I'll just leave it for now. Okay. Oh, Jake. Oops, that's one of Dawnies. <laughs> oh, you know. Did she not write on it to Dad? And look what it said right on it. No. Okay, well you can, you, you, you can open that one for now, because <laughs> it's already open. The other one's next to the card. I, I, she was meant to write to Dad on the ones from her, and then mine was like, darling. square one in front of the card, it says to dad on that. Oh yeah, so you just can't open that one. Yeah, I don't know why she didn't write that on the other one. So yeah, just have a look at it. If it's blank, it's from me. I'm sure that's not blank. Be inspired. Because mm. it's from Be Inspired. <laughs> Isn't it? Oh no! Is that that's just type? Yeah. That's from just type. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'll try them all on later. What do you mean all? It's one. Oh, yeah, I have seen oh. twenty. Yeah, that one is. <laughs> I didn't ruin it at all. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. I will also try this one off. Yes, you will. Because no one wants to see that on camera. Uh, uh, I beg to differ. <laughs> <laughs> Comment below. No. <laughs> <laughs> this one's also a bit. I think it is just that other one, so we should have like it. It's because she, she got that one last minute, if you saw it, she was like, how did it? This one is being inspired. But it's a little like the feel of one. Yeah. That was, try that one on. It's bleeding out. <laughs> Thank you. 
this because you don't like some of my t-shirts. So you're like, I know how to. No, it's because you kept saying that she wanted some newbie inspired t-shirts, and you look really good in green and red. So <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's what you got. I was tied up, not me. Obviously, you haven't got any like big big presents this year because I took you out to eat the meatballs. Yeah. Also, your card is pending. <laughs> Provided you with a bag. <laughs> I thought it'd be good for when you're doing your little diving in cans away as well because it's, it's quite roomy. Happy Friday! And it's Bobby's 32nd birthday! Ooh. How are you feeling, my old man? As young as a kitten. Oh, kitten's okay, cute. I don't know why I said kitten. I don't know why then. You got old, you just started to say old things now. But no, doesn't he look all handsome? He's had his hair and beard done. It really made a day. He was getting very fluffy, but Tony's going to be very sad because she likes the food. But, but she can't be mad at me because it's my birthday. Yeah. She, he does look so happy. Look at that face. It's so pretty. I look so tiny, but it's because I've got the chair put in the back. I hate sitting up straight in cars. Look, look how annoying. Look how like, posh and right shifts this looks. Who done? Back here. Oh, funny story. On our first date, I got in the car, and obviously I'm, I'm wearing clothes suitable for a date, so I'm dressed quite nicely. And he added this chair set up on the way, so I'm like sat here all nice in my smart coat and everything. And he's like, yeah. 
And like, it just like, I looked over and I was like, oh my God, please tell me he doesn't have like the street racer mentality. And he doesn't, he's nothing like that at all. But that was the first time I ever got an it from you, was thinking that you were a boy racer because you were like, yeah, <laughs> uh <-huh." laughs> Well, I think it's just because you have little arms. Because so you like, when you do this, like, it looks like you're like channeled back, but you're not. Like, go on, do it. I'm a T-Rex. <laughs> Also, you're wearing the coat I got him for his birthday. Oh, I think it looks really good on you. Honestly, it's super cute. It's nice. Thank you. Yeah. Anyway, so even though it is Bobby's birthday today, it is also Dormoy's birthday tomorrow. So we're actually off to get her cake because we are very, very fortunate. And she got a cake made from a um, charity that set up for kids like her with disabilities and illnesses. I can't remember the name off the top of my head because I applied for it a year ago. So I'll insert the information down below in the description and links and everything. But um, our cake lady is called Chula and she's been lovely, bless her. And she is making a cake for Dawn Louise. So we have no idea what it's going to look like. I did make uh, suggestions of things that Dawn is interested in, but I haven't seen it. I haven't seen any sketches, nothing. So I don't know what this cake's going to look like. And she's never had a special cake like this before. She's only ever had store brought. And that's because my baking skills are atrocious and I would set the house on fire. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. So we're going to go get her cake and then we can come back and we're going to start packing. Because tomorrow is the Little Hearts Matter Open Event, which is a charity for kids with half a heart. Um, so Dawn is going to get to meet all her friends who have half a heart just like her. Um, again, we haven't seen them since 2022 because they didn't do it last year. Um, and then on Sunday, we're going to Thompson Towers to celebrate my brother's, Dawn's and Bobby's birthdays all at once. Um, so that's going to be fun. I don't know how much we'll vlog on Sunday just because my brother isn't hugely camera conscious. Like, he's, he's not very confident on camera, sorry. He's a little bit more on the shy end compared to us. So. We shall see, but I'll definitely get some footage of Dawny and like her reactions to rides because this is going to be her first time doing really, really big rides. Um, because we had an interesting talk with Kylie on the journey. So six months ago, when Dawny had her six-month appointment, she said that she really wanted to go to Old Towers for her birthday because we went there when she was off at a camp for the same children because we were always told she couldn't do that. So. She asked them and they said that honestly, yes, it's fine. Just don't go on ones with hygiene rules or ones that will hang you upside down for long periods of time. And the reason is, Dawny's surgeries have made it so that her heart works via gravity because she's only got the weaker pumping chamber left in her heart. She's only got the right ventricle, which is built to the lungs. She's missing the left ventricle, which is blood around the entire body. So you can imagine her heart's now doing twice the work that it should. And Unfortunately, it's not a big enough pump to get it around the whole body, so her body works via gravity, which means that when she is upside down or going in rides where it pulls you from one direction to the other, her blood is actually pooling behind her heart and it's not being pushed into her heart by gravity, um, which is also why she struggles with pains at night because the gravity has changed again. So we were aware that she wouldn't be able to go on Rita, she wouldn't be able to go on Smiler. She wouldn't be able to go on uh, Nemesis, um, but the other one should be okay because they're flat tracks, they are just faster. Um, so she should be okay with doing those because it's not going to change the gravitation of her body too quickly. Whereas Rita is not to 100, so obviously that's a massive, very quick change. So the problem is, we then went to cardiology again two weeks ago, I think that was it? Yeah. Two weeks ago, and we had her original cardiologist, which is a I, I think he's classed as a consultant pediatrician and not a full cardiologist. He doesn't work at her cardiac hospital, he works at our local hospital. But he has known her since she was six months old when she first came in and started So he has known her for a very, very long time. And I do trust his opinion. But he was not sure about what Dawny could do. But the one thing that he did say, obviously this is a terminal condition that she's got. She has now hit her life expectancy, or at least she will tomorrow. Her life expectancy is 14 years old. She is turning 14 tomorrow. So they're very much at the point where it's like she has to live her life and make the best of it. The worst thing that's going to happen is she's going to need to get in an ambulance, go on oxygen and go to hospital. But it shouldn't be something that she'll never recover from. Which is kind of the gist of it, wasn't it? Yeah, because I just asked a question like, what do we need to look out for on these types of rides? Because obviously we know it's kind of a big rest for Donnie. And yeah, all he basically said was that all any people like us lot we always get like the rush is what they call it and like after 
a couple of minutes, five minutes, we're fine. We go on the next one. But with Dawny, she should still get the same sensation and she should recover within the same time as what we yeah. do. Yeah, they said anything over half an hour, we have to call our yeah. ambulance. But he said if she's still not feeling right after five, ten minutes, then he said it might be worth sitting out, having something to eat, to drink, and just try and get um, make her blood flow going again and getting obviously like nutrition back into her. Just to see if that will help it. But if, like I said, after half an hour, if she's still not feeling well, when he's like, the only thing you can do is just call the ambulance. He said because someone's clearly been upset. Yeah. See, my concerns were that she is at risk of strokes, cardiac arrest, and heart attack. So I was worried that it would trigger one of those. Um, but it doesn't seem like it will. It's just a case of the gravitational pull is not going to force her blood into the right chambers of the heart. Yeah, because it's going to stop it, isn't it? Yeah, it's basically going to basically pull at the back of her heart. Pull, sorry, P-O-O-L. It's going to pull at the back of her heart instead of going into the chambers and then around her body. So we are expecting her to go very pale. She shouldn't go any more swollen nosed unless something happens to her oxygen as well. But they're saying that it shouldn't happen. And basically, I, it, I'm not gonna lie, I do feel like I'm being a bad parent still taking her, but I'll get onto why we are still doing that in a second. But one of the reasons is she is terminally ill. This is not a condition that is ever gonna be cured, even if she gets a transplant, which is a last resort. If she does get a transplant, you are not cured with a transplant. You still are on medicines the rest of your life, still going to cardiac surgeons and um, consultants regularly. You're on medication for the rest of your life. There's a chance it will fail. And a transplanted heart only lasts 15 years. And we know someone with HRHS who had a transplant and they are living a really, really tough life right now. They are making the most of it, but it has not been any easier than before they had the transplant. And that broke my heart because we love her dearly. She is a very close friend of ours. We care about her a lot. And seeing her still struggling years after a transplant is painful. So with the severity of her condition, we kind of have to just be this is what she wants to do we're going to give it a go and i'm going to be scared but it's the right thing to do because we don't know how much longer she's going to have left and i don't want her to ever feel like she regrets not doing things and also this is the one thing she does to do yeah she literally my child is the perfect child because you know how most kids go around the shop and they're like mum can have this can I have this and then throw a tantrum she's never been that child even at christmas and birthdays i'll be like what, what would you like doesn't say i've always had to figure it out myself and then hope that she likes it which is why i love watching her reactions because she has no idea what she's getting for birthdays and christmases the only thing that she's ever asked to do for her birthday is go to Walton towers and she asked six months ago at the cardiologist office and they said yes we booked it we planned it we invited my brother so she could spend a day with her uncle as well also it's his birthday on the 14th so it's all of their birthdays this month so it's a lovely way for us to all go and spend it together and the last time that I went there with my brother, Dawny was in my tummy and I didn't know about it. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, I've really got some sex saying stomach like a child. She was in my uterus. <laughs> it just doesn't sound right. Um, but yeah, so I am, I do honestly, I do feel a bit guilty as parents. I'm like, this is such a big risk, but it's a one-off thing. It's the one thing that she's ever asked for. She's not a very asky person. And we are at the cake place, so I'll finish this in a bit. Bye. <laughs> Like, I couldn't have even come up with this concept. I love what she's done with it. I gave her such really basic ideas because I didn't really know what to do. And this is just, she's blown out the water. The second I saw it, I was just like flabbergasted. It's so good, isn't it? It is amazing. It's like crazy of how simple it is, but how well it's been constructed. Yeah, I'm not showing you yet. You've got to stay tuned for Jordan's birthday to see it. Yeah, it's just like a lot of people say it's simple. Simplicity is the best. Is the best. And she really hasn't overcomplicated that. No. No, this is... It, I was a little bit worried that the ideas that I gave were going to be too immature for Dawny, but this is just absolutely perfect for a 14-year-old. Yeah, she, she, she hasn't gone I immature, she, has she? No, I think she's going to love this. And it's personalised, it's got her name on it, that's what I'm telling you. But, oh my god, it's literally, it's, it's incredible, and I can't believe that we got this for free. Like, to be able to do this for, for children like Don Louise, honestly, it's just, we really appreciate it, because, obviously, like I said, Donnie's having a really hard time at the moment. So being able to do something like this for her is lovely because being a full-time carer, money is low. So doing big things like 
lots of decorations, big fancy cakes and stuff, it's not always possible, um, which is why she's always had, you know, your basic supermarket cakes. Um, this is just, it's perfect, isn't it? Yeah, I reckon cakes are around like normally 60 quid. Yeah, I reckon this is probably 100. It looks really decent. I wonder what the flavour it is. That's the whole roller coaster thing, and the reason that we are still going, even with the whole pooling situation, possibly leading to an ambulance, is this. We saw this cardiologist two weeks ago. He contacted the cardiac hospital that she's under and tried to get her cardiologist to reply. We didn't. We got a phone call from the liaison nurses, who I don't trust anyway. I've had problems in the past, and every time that I've called them for help, they've been completely utterly useless, so I don't really bother, to be honest. But they said that there is no current studies or evidence to show for or against children with half a heart going on big roller coasters. But she said that and also said, don't go on any big ones. Don't go on any ones with drops. Don't go on any that are upside down. Don't go on any that farts. And what well, Alton tells us all of that. There isn't any escaping yet apart from the toddler rides. Um, so the fact that there's no evidence to show greater damage, he's saying that within 30 minutes she should recover from any kind of effect from being on the roller coasters. And at the worst, she would be getting an ambulance to get oxygen because her oxygen is low naturally anyway. It's 70 to 85% at the moment. So it is risky and I am a bit scared and I don't really want her birthday surprise. Well, not surprise because she knows about it. Her birthday tree resulting in us getting an ambulance. But for six months now she's been looking forward to this she's been telling her friends about it she's been planning it she's been inviting her brother up and my uncle her brother my <laughs> she's been inviting her uncle my brother to it um so it's just it would be unfair for after planning it booking it everything but six months of excitement to pull it out from under i think two weeks beforehand i don't think that's fair to her because six months ago, when she was literally just coming out of having this heart surgery, they gave her permission to go. So, we are going to take her on any ride that she chooses to go on, apart from Smiler. Smiler's an absolute no, because I got very lightheaded and nearly passed it out on that as it is. So I don't really want her going on that, just because I know what that felt like and it was terrifying because it just keeps going, because there's like 10 different inversions. Um, we might try Nemesis because she'd be upside down for a very short amount of time and it's not a corkscrew like Colossus. Because Colossus just keeps going, doesn't it? And same yeah. as Smiler. So, Rita, we weren't going to do because it is G-Force. However, when we did her wish trip, I did not know what rock and roller coaster was because it's a dark ride and it's all undercover so I couldn't see it. And it was the late at night and it added no cue so we decided to do it last minute. And... Um, <laughs> It is like Rita, it goes from 0 to 100 in the dark with upside down everything. So we have accidentally taken her on a big ride before as well. And she was fine. I never took her on it again and I felt so guilty that I was literally crying kind of saying, are you okay? Are you okay? Afterwards, because I felt so guilty that I didn't know that that's what it was. So given that, and the fact that she's relatively healthy for a child who's just been told she's making choices between life limiting and ease of living, they don't really give it a proper name at this stage so it's just weird to explain it um, basically she's currently choosing between quality of life and length of life that's a better way to explain it <laughs> um, so you know at the end of the day we know that Dawning's heart is getting tired we know that there's problems that are coming up and that we know that she's going to have to have some form of another surgery within the next few years probably it depends on how she copes and um, as she's getting older she's definitely slowing down again so we know that something's going to happen. So we're just going to risk it, basically. Um, but it's going to be down to her. We're not forcing her, her on any rides, but we're not going to deny her either. Apart from Smiler. Smiler is completely off limits. But I'm going to let her watch the rides because they're all outdoors so she can see them. They're not indoor rides, thankfully. So we're going to have her watch them, decide what she wants to do. She's got an access pass, which means that she won't have to queue up. But in between rides, she has to wait the same amount of time that you would if you were in the queue. So if there's a two hour queue, we go on the ride straight away, but then we can't go on the next ride for another two hours. So she's gonna have the perfect amount of time to rest between rides without it being stood up in a queue, because that would make it worse. So it's risky. I'm scared people can go in the comments and judge me as a parent, but when you've got a child who's terminally ill, you're constantly making choices that are life or death, and it is exhausting. And I just want my daughter to be happy. 
because we never thought she was going to make it to 14. And also her main cardiologist, when she was at her worst because she had that surgery and her saturation was really low, that's when Dorney chose to ask and question. she got permission and she got permission that was when her stats were below us yeah they 18. were at 71 percent so really low. for her main car i just say yeah it's fine for a guy now when she knows what her stats were at that time obviously it's still posing a risk but she don't think it's a big enough risk even if her oxygen level sorry then um it obviously isn't posing that much of a major concern or risk for her seeming we could have been going the next week and she was like yeah that's fine yeah so that's like to be fair she sees that doctor every six months i feel like she knows dawny well enough to know what she should and should not be doing and she gave her permission and the only people that we've spoken to all constantly just said they weren't sure so they i don't think it's fair for me to pull her out of this now cancel it all because somebody says they're not sure if they said no, that's not healthy for her, X, Y, and Z will happen, it's a danger to her, then 100% I would not take her. But they didn't say that. They said there's no evidence. We know other heart kids that completely disregard the regulations anyway, and they've been fine. But Dawny has always been worse off in a lot of cases. Like, when other people's surgeries went well, their fenestrations closed, everything like that, Dawny's never been that well. Her saturations are lower than all her friends are. Um, so I try not to go off what other people's experiences are, but I feel like... Six months ago, she was given permission. It is not fair to take that away from her now. It's just not. She's had so much taken away from her her entire life. She's missed out on so much her entire life. She's constantly the girl who can't do this, can't do that, can't do this. And it's affected her mentally for years. I'm not going to take away the one thing that she's ever asked for. And when we've asked all these questions, well, like, oh, she's been in the room, so she's listened to it and she understands it. Yeah. And we have sat her down and told her, like, that if she does feel well, it's nothing to be ashamed of because then Dave, we said all we all need to do is have the best life you can. So we said even if you go on one ride and that's it, you can't do anymore, that's absolutely fine because then Dave, this is her wish. So we're just gonna do what we can. But like, I know Jordan, and she will be, well, she will be fine if I'm one or two, but I think we do on things when because when on Father's Day when I took on that ride because I was on ride to see um she did she did automatically say she wasn't feeling well straight away so I know that she will say when she's not and luckily we did um just go sit down and have something to eat so and then she was fine like you can go back and watch that vlog she was fine afterwards so and the ride that he's talking about was, it was called Cyclone. Cyclone. There's other ones like it called Twister. It's the fairground ride where you're in like seats of two carriages they, and the whole thing spins around. But as that's spinning around, you're also being pulled this way and then back again and then like this into like a star shape. And that explains why she felt well, unwell and was pale because yeah. the blood would have pulled like he said it would. But the point is she was okay. So even though this might seem like irresponsible parenting or that we're not trying to keep it safe, etc., it's not. It's that we've experienced a couple of mistakes in the past, learned from them. Her first cardiologist who knew the best gave her permission to go. But yeah, I'm scared. But it's one of those choices where she has fought so hard to be alive. I've got to let her live. It's as simple as that. Like, I don't know how much longer we've got with her. Um, and life's getting really hard medically. I just want her to do everything that she ever dreamt of. And she does a really great job of doing that. Like, she takes on every opportunity given to her. And she's happy to go and do literally anything. Um, so, yeah, we, we just couldn't rip it away from her that close to going. It's just not fair. No, like, she really has just been trying everything, because, like, as you've seen, she's gone to Girl Guide in the Creative Collective, and, like, that was kind of a bit out of the comfort zone. That was a big step for her, yeah. But she, she chose to go, didn't she? Yeah. She chose, and she wanted to do it, and from what we can tell, she did get involved. With yeah, no, definitely. We've got lots of videos of her with the other girls, and she was having a right laugh, and she was all a 
signals all day. She doesn't put chair off when she's there, and she got that camera. So yeah, it's like good seeing. I was like to say she's been excited for this, and for us to say actually no, we're not. That's just, like parents saying no, we don't want you doing it when she's been told by the doctors she can. Yeah, like it, it was, was really, wrong. it was also really scary to have her go up to the downgrading thing because obviously none of the people had met her before. Um, obviously they have to be CPR trained, but they don't know her, they don't know her condition. We're in London, it's a huge city it turns out, it takes like an hour to walk anywhere. Um, that was a big step and we could have said no out of fear. But if we live in fear and she lives in fear, she isn't going to live at all. So it's as simple as that. We just, we have to do what makes her life worth fighting for. Because all, she hasn't fought this hard to not do it. Yeah, it was also like when she um done that pilot course thing as well. Yeah, I still can't believe she flew a plane. She flew that, a plane last week. We literally just left her there, didn't we? Yeah, and it was, too, was it. like we were scared. <laughs> we, we kept saying like, what if she has a heart attack in the sky and things like that. And it's just like anxiety ridden thoughts. Um, but yeah, definitely, 100%. We just need to do it. And I have told her, you know, Alton Towers is right up the other end of the country. We are in the south. It is kind of Midlands, isn't it? I don't think it's classes up north, really, is it? It's more Midlands. Mm. So it's a really far way for us to go. It's not something that we're going to be doing all the time. She might not like it eventually, but, you know, we're going to go. I think the plan is to start with 13 because that's got a similar track as Hagrid's bike ride. And she's been on that in America during her wish trip. So we know that she can handle that. I think we're definitely going to try Wicker Man because that's a flat track. It's just fast. Rita, I think, needs to be... So, basically, what we need to do is we need to do the ones that we're sure about first and the risky ones at the end of the day so that she has a longer period of time to recover from them. So, we're going to do 13, Wicker Man. I honestly have questions about Oblivion, but a cardiologist did say that she can definitely go on Galactica because she's laying flat. And that one goes upside down on your back, on your front, everything. But he said that one's fine because where she's going to be laid flat, the blood isn't going to be moving the same way. So we we can kind of, we kind of have to be a bit scientific about the way that gravitational pull is going to affect her. And it, literally, I feel I feel like a like a mad scientist. Like, what gravitational pull can we use to aid my daughter's blood? <laughs> so like when he says about a seat, and like if she sat down like in a car seat kind of thing, pulled back, yeah. she'll be fine. Yeah. But that's what Rita is. Yeah, which is but, why we're considering doing Rita, but we're going to leave it till later in the day probably. Because Rita is obviously good to not to one hundred and one hour. Yeah, of within that's the, the very first the very first second of it. Where it takes your breath away. Have they cornered off the road? No. Okay, thank God. Um, the first couple of seconds of it is where it's risky. The rest of the ride, perfectly fine. <laughs> um, whereas I wouldn't take on stealth because that's Rita with a massive drop at the end as well. So stealth would be off limits, but Rita's the question mark. We're going to have to see. And like I said, it's completely up to her, but there's a good chance it's going to end with an ambulance. But at the end of the day, the worst thing that will happen is she goes into hospital for a night on oxygen. It is unlikely to cause heart attacks or cardiac arrest, which was my concern because when you go on these rides, they always say, don't ride this if you have a heart condition, but they don't say what heart conditions they're talking about. And the problem is heart attacks is what they're worried about for the most part. So obviously they could tell us, you can't go on this because she's got half a heart, but if, if they knew about it, but at the end of the day, her, cardio her cardiologist knows the functionality of of her specific car, whereas the ride operators are trying to cover those back insurance wise. We aren't going to make any insurance claim if something happens. We know that this is risky. We're doing this off our own accord. Put that in the newspaper. <laughs> um. And now we're home. What to do? <laughs> Take it, please. What? What to do? Just saying one thing. You cannot be mad because it's my birthday. What do you do? I am. Um, Maid went to rinse it out with hot water, but used the kettle water. And then it. it, it Mayo bump started shrinking. So I could put some cold water in it to stop it. And now your straw don't fit in properly, so it had to be pushed at an angle. Because it shrunk. So daddy's going to buy you a new one because daddy's be a mad. bad boy. But you can't be mad at me. You don't need to get me a new one, it works fine. <laughs> okay. I'm just wondering. I was just wondering. Well, at least we can tell um, which one's yours now. And we want, and now we know why it can't go in dishwashers. Because it's we too don't have a heat. I know, but the heat is on to mount it.
I'm carrying both mine and Daddy's suitcases. Don't ask me how. I'm not even do go to gym yet. Do you want to carry mine? Oh heck no! I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I've definitely raised an independent lady or a servant either way <laughs> Bosh. <laughs> did you find it key how rustic <laughs> we're gonna be a year now <laughs> this is right near the fire escape there's no hand on no can't do this push it right in you can do it you can do it <laughs> no don't oh i thought you were gonna break it then <laughs> right one Oh, Donny, and you got a choice. <laughs> Ow. Oh, in, in, in. oh, it smells lovely and clean in here, doesn't it? They, they can just... Oh, wait, there's two beds. Yeah, you got a choice. <laughs> hmm. No, <laughs> not a chance. Wait, wait, ready, ready, ready. Yeah. <laughs> Do that again. Hello, how may I help you today? So we're not on the label. Bib. <laughs> Ooh, nice and tight. Look, I have a television. You got four cups. You got lots of milk. Do they think there's more people staying in this room than there is? I shouldn't have. He should have his own room. One, oh god, I really hope not. Because he's only booked in for one night, not two. So he can't be, surely. No. Maybe they're family rooms for four people. Yeah, maybe. Come. I only bought a nighty, so Carl cannot. <laughs> As you can see here, they've decided to, well, give us to move a bunch ahead. <laughs> but it's quite nice. Look, look at this. It's cleaner than the last room we're in, we say that, isn't it? Yeah. Got a that noise is a little scary, though. It's like a storm's no, break. No, no. Right. Fancy soap, she means the Bailey's, Bayless, or whatever it's called. That That is a desk or room for storage. Do you want to see if we got a view? I mean, we're at a service station, so I doubt it. <laughs> Food vendors, ooh. Oh, open up. Let me have a look. Oh, okay. That's not oh, bad. That's actually, that's actually nice. We could open the window, chuck you out there, and you can just run around through the morning. <laughs> Wait, would that actually work, though? No, you can't open the windows. They're locked. Can you not? No. Okay, yeah, you're not going to climb out of that gap, are you, woman? No, 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 no. Oh <laughs> do not try that ever at home, just so you know. So what do you think? <sighs> I think this bed's tomorrow. Are you excited for Little Hearts Matter tomorrow? Yeah, it's my birthday. Oh, yeah, and your birthday. birthday. <laughs> I didn't forget at all. Forget, forget. <laughs> it's my birthday. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. Oh, it's Daddy's birthday today. Birthday. You haven't given him a birthday hug. You haven't even seen him properly. Ah! Oh my wait, god. Wait, wait. You there? Although, like I said, don't be something. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Thank you. Guess what? Look, I'm happy birthday. Guess what? What? It's my birthday. Happy birthday! And don't you like this? <laughs> She ended up down here, but it was a lot more better than the first time we've done it because we literally went slow motion like, uh oh, these ain't going well. <laughs> and I thought I was going to get on the well, other bed, then I just fell. But I did really well, but she didn't actually just go bang. I just <laughs> held on, so I was like, she's going down. And it ended up that I kind of had my thought on her stomach on the floor, so I was like, you will stay down. <laughs> I didn't actually stand on it because I managed to keep myself on the floor. <laughs> Yeah. It was really funny and it's a shame you did see that. Yeah, I just get my order from um, KFC, but we just saw two big massage chairs 
And guess what? They're only a pound each. So we're definitely spending our birthday there. Yeah! What do we get, Bob Bob? We got toes and noodles. I it's got chorizo. 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 It's chosen. Chorizo. 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 Ch
because I didn't know what size you had, so I made a medium. Because a small would be too small, and a large would be too large. Wear these tomorrow. Yes. Yay. Oh my god. Why don't you just put it in the mug? Thank you. And happy birthday. Thank you. Myself with my muscles. Yeah, Dad, you didn't. Need I had to lift it over the whole bed. Yeah, she wasn't paying attention. She was pretending to sleep. <laughs> no, I was actually going from a thousand to a zero. Oh, I was going to be sleeping, but then I need to like pretend off for me to go to sleep because I've learned that. I don't want to turn off. <laughs> you wish you do it. Mm -hmm. Over there somewhere. So stay tuned for tomorrow's video where Danny will be opening her presents first thing in the morning and then Little Hearts Matter will take place. Yay! And I'll see you. I don't really know when we'll next see you, so I'll just see you soon. Make sure you subscribe. Yeah. Bye. Happy Bye. Friday the 22nd, isn't it? Yeah. Because it's your birthday. I know that. Yes, I didn't change it. <laughs> Can't believe the 32. You really don't look 32. You look so good. Me, I'm just an old hag. Ruling apart. Decrepit, in fact. <laughs> Honestly though, my body is falling apart. I need to join a gym, I need to get a nutritionist. I, I was thinking about this the other day. I have two more years till Donnie's 16. If she gets a job between 16 and 18 and starts paying for her own hobbies, I'm gonna get me a nutritionist, a gym personal trainer thingy, and I am gonna freaking glow up in my mid thirties. I tell you, just wait. <laughs> Well, the thing is, all my money goes on Dawny. I don't have money to. And also, I want to start. Get, I want to go. Like one thing that I'd really like to do is go to. Like I don't even know who to go to. Like an esthetician, I guess. Because I'd like to have my skin analysis, analysis, whatever the word is, and see what I actually need to be doing to my skin. Because my skin has always been bad. As, oh, we missed the, our opportunity. Oops. <laughs> I talk too much, and I has cold. Beep. 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 Mm-hmm.